We're excited now to introduce the United States Air Force Thunderbirds. So I'm going to bring the officers up here and introduce the team to everybody. Uh, before I do that, I just want to say an enormous thank you uh, to Colonel Randolph and your team for uh, hosting us here for what's been an incredible week in the NCR already and what's uh, proven to be an incredible show uh, here on this base. Uh, with that, let me dive right into it. So the officers you're going to meet tonight represent the 135 people on the United States Air Force Thunderbirds that represent this brand and wear this patch. Um, and wear this flag and represent the entirety of the United States Air Force from 28 different career fields uh, on this team for our demonstration. I'd like to give a huge round of applause to our enlisted force uh, and to those who wear the patch for the Thunderbirds, please. Yeah. All right, with that, let's have some fun. So starting over here uh, on uh, my right side, Thunderbird 2 is Major Ian Lee. He goes by Bear. He's our left wing. Uh, Bear flies on my left side for the entirety of the demo. He also actually knows how to do the Thunderbird 1 roll, and he's in fact the boss instructor pilot and the one that taught me how to fly this demonstration when I was new to the team last year. Huge round of applause for Bear. Yeah, Bear. <laughs> All right, right next to Bear, you've got Major Lauren Schlichting. She goes by Threat. That's Thunderbird 3. She flies on my right wing. Threat actually transitioned from the F-15E to the F-16 just this summer to learn how to fly this demonstration. And she got so proficient so quickly that we're already flying in our tightest formation in history called Stripes Align through our loops and uh, rolls. So huge round of applause for Threat. <laughs> Got Thunderbird 4. I'm going to introduce these two together. So Thunderbird 4 and 5 are pretty special members of our team right now. Thunderbird 4 uh, is Major Zane Taylor. He goes by Strobe. Yeah. So Strobe, that's the four little crew chief, by the way. Um, <laughs> Strobe uh, is an F-16 native pilot. He's actually been on this team for three years. And in 2020, when we brought the team down because of the pandemic and rewrote the entirety of our show from scratch in conjunction with Disney Connections to make it more of a moving experience that flows better, uh, that show was rewritten. The one you saw today was rewritten by Strobe uh, and right next to him by uh, Kyle Oliver, who I'm introduced here as well. So, but yeah, a huge round of applause for Strobe. Kyle Oliver, Major Kyle Oliver, goes by Gumbo. He's an F-22 pilot by nature. Uh, he transitioned to the F-16 to join this team a few years ago, and he's been our lead solo for the last year. Uh, and so when you get that sneak pass that shocks you, uh, that is this guy. Uh, and he's also the one that wrote the solo routine in all of our timing. Round of applause for uh, Gumbo, please. The other sneak pass that shocks you comes from Captain Daniel Katz. He goes by Thunder. He's Thunderbird 6. He's our opposing solo. He's doing the team this year um, and is going to be the lead instructor for the solos next year. It's uh, an enormous transition for us coming up here real soon. Okay, now this, this, this sick ship right here, and I'll include myself in that, uh, are what we call the show ponies. All right, we're the ones that you see flying in the air. We eat our glitter notes, we fly the airplanes, and it's, it's great for everybody to see. But this is where things get really interesting on this team. So starting with Thunderbird 7, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Yingling, he goes by Slinga. All right, Slinga is second in command of the squadron and runs the entirety of our operations. So Thunderbird 7 is responsible for moving 135 people across the nation twice every week in a C-17 with all the equipment, spare parts, and everything that's required to run the operation that moves this team in an agile way around the nation. So huge round of applause for Thunderbird 7. <laughs> this will continue to get more interesting. Thunderbird 8, Major Jake and Pelizzeri is our advanced pilot and narrator. So he's often gonna be the one that flies our national media flyers, uh, just like Thunderbird 7 does. He's the voice of the team. He's the voice face of our team to the industry as well. He's the first one that advances in front of us um, when we get out to every new show site. Uh, and he's the one that you're gonna hear screaming in his wireless mic uh, on the radio uh, and, and really getting the crowd going for this show. Uh, huge round of applause for Primo. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's talk about Thunderbird 9. Captain Travis Grindstaff, he goes by Angry. He's the least angry person you're ever going to meet in your life. Angry runs what we call the shine. This is a very important part of the team. 
We get a lot of questions about the Shine on our social media feed, actually. The Shine is that mirror that he's got and the light gun that he's got that he is actually using from Show Center to vector the Delta around to make sure we can actually find it. Believe it or not, an, air, an airfield will disappear entirely uh, when you're down low five miles away trying to reposition for this thing. Oh, by the way, Angry's also a doctor. Uh, he's a full-up flight surgeon. He keeps us healthy, um, and he makes sure that we're able to fly this show no matter how we're feeling that day. Huge round of applause for Angry. Thunderbird 10, Captain Katie Morecamp. She goes by Jinx. Jinx is the glue that holds this team together. By definition, she's our executive officer. She is the administrative role on this team. She's the one that allows me to fly twice every day uh, as the commander. Um, and she makes the world go around. But she's oh so much more than that administrative role because Jinx is actually capable of swing rolling into all of the positions I've introduced so far. She can run show center, she can run the operation, she can run airlift, she can do narration. Uh, so she can really pull the team together in a substitute situation, which is a really big deal for us. So a huge round of applause for Jinx, please. <laughs> Nobody can do this job right here. All right, so Major Bobby Gula is Thunderbird 11. He goes by SWAG. You're going to see him with his signature swagger on the flight line. He runs our maintenance division for this team. This maintenance division is about the size of a squadron, by the way. Uh, and I'll give you a good example of what he's capable of doing. So the Thunderbirds will only deploy seven or eight jets to a show site. And I want you to think about this. We're usually not at an Air Force base. We're usually deployed to Chicago or New York or somewhere that completely has no support available for the F-16. So he's going to bring this team out there with most of the people and he's, get, he's able to take those seven to eight jets and the very next day after landing turn those jets to either a seven turn six so fly all of them in the morning and then almost all of them in the afternoon or sometimes even more than that when we're flying our national media flyers so the turn rate is unbelievable that he's able to generate and he does it every single show in a row so a huge round of applause for Slay. <laughs> Nobody can do the job standing next to him either. Thunderbird 12 is Captain Katie Toner. She goes by agent. She is our agent. <laughs> Thunderbird 12 is the face of this team, not to the air show industry, but to the nation. She's responsible for our information campaign, which is a very, very important part of what the Thunderbirds do. She's responsible for the shift away from influencers and people who take the brand and build their own personal brand and towards people who do great things in the name of service to something bigger than themselves. So you'll see us flying a lot more hometown heroes, a lot more national media, and a lot more folks that are giving to something bigger than themselves, which is very important in this day of age. That is uh, her info campaign. Huge round of applause for Agent Please. <laughs> team and the enlisted team that you see interspersed amongst you and I'll, I'll, I'll close with this guys when you turn 40 and you're away from your kids 300 days a year you start to think a lot about the why behind this team why do we pour the resources into it why do we travel it's very intense it's very expensive it's very dangerous but I'll tell you what you can look at those kids your kids the kids that are in this room right now and you think about the fact that the United States Air Force is not Google it's not Apple. It's not something that if it starts to fail, you can just walk away from and change companies and go do something else with your life. No matter what is going on with this Air Force, it's very important to remember that this is your Air Force. This is the Air Force that my kids are gonna grow up being defended by. This is the United States flag that they are gonna live under as they grow up. That's very important to understand for their sake, for all of our sakes, we have to get this right. And so when you look at a country that was divided by a pandemic very recently, and that's just now starting to come back together, nothing unites us more than a beacon of excellence. Something that we can all look up to in the sky, whether it's the Olympics, whether it's airplanes flying, whether it's an excellent musician, people rally behind a commitment to excellence and human achievement. That is what this team is here to provide, but with one further step. This team provides a commitment to excellence in the name of service to something bigger than ourselves. And I can't think of a more important time in history for that beacon to be there for people to rally around. We're going to get this right. We're proud to be here performing with you all who do the exact same thing and who serve a purpose bigger than yourselves. I'm really looking forward to this weekend flying with all of you and, uh, and putting that together for the American people. So thanks, everybody.
Uh, Colonel Randolph, we'd like to present you a litho up here, and then we'll close it out. <coughs> Sir, thanks again for hosting us and uh, thanks for having us here.